Good morning, friends, and we welcome back to another build. Of I'm not going to do that all the time. Anyways, we're going on to part three of the Nether Titan slash Creepy Critter build. Now, I have been fighting here with this mouth since I started this, and when I take that off, that is true nightmare fuel. What I did is I did a huge cut right through, so there's tentacles right on the underside there. You can barely see them, but the mouth is a large like slice down and these tentacles sit down below i think this looks fantastic now there's two types in here you'll see that there is a this one wants to volunteer this is foam uh magic foam crayon makes it just i use it it's not as strong as i want it to be so i ended up doing a second one which is i just took silicone i put it on to tin foil and let it dry and then what happens they just put it in here and it gives us this really cool look i did the long slice here just because i need somewhere for the tentacles to sit as i go i'm going to see if i can lift this whole thing up without the whole thing destructing on me here sorry about that there we go okay so you can see now how those tentacles sit and go all the way back and it really it's got a it's got a fantastic horrible look to it Oh, and all nothing is nothing is fully connected yet now the only other thing that I did is I connected these I got these all in place so when you come from here you can see that the tentacles are kind of like a secondary thought but all said and done everything's starting to look really good now the next time you see me uh, the tail I just have to do a spike on it we're gonna start painting so the next time you see this it's gonna have a whole bunch of base coat on it we'll just start talking about how we're painting this thing up see you in about a week and a half because that's how much painting i have to do so it's been three and a half weeks and i'm back after finishing painting 15 million pieces of this bug um we we do not have a good relationship right now because i'm going to list the movies over here that i watched while painting this thing and oh my gosh regardless so we are to here now what i used is i used a brown base coat it was lighter brown than this initially and um just takes a while to get into all the nooks and crannies then once it had dried i used a spray wash like i used a big pressurized bottle of spray wash and soaked them fully the main reason you use a spray is because it can get into these holes so you lose the majority of the blue you can see this is about a little tiny bit of blue but once we get to the next stage here it won't matter too much so the main thing is is to get to this point takes time it's just a lot of painting i, I can't sugarcoat it in any other way other than enjoy some movies now what we're going to what we want to do after though is we end up dry brushed to here and you can see the difference is just night and day it looks so nice in terms of look I still have to go through and I have to put black into these joints, but we'll do that after. But I figured I'll show you me doing the dry brushing on this. So if you ever wondered about my technique on how I pull it off, there's a video up here showing you how to do it with a bit more description. This one, you're going to get a wonderful musical interlude as you watch me go crazy on this thing. Anyways, after this, we're going to be working on some of the joints and I'll be back to talk about that. See you in a bit. Now, you can see that everything has been dry brushed. It's not completely attached. I have to still silicone those into place, but that'll be a very last stage. And it depends if you want to move this thing around. You may want to come up with a different connection for the legs to the body so you can move it. Now, all I did here is I painted these joints black and then I dry brushed them again with the same light tan that I have here. The claws will take you out. You'll see that I have painted it in three stages one i used a holiday green which is the base coat and it dries less than this like it's a, you can see just how dark it dried then at the claw end i use a tropical green 
and I brushed it again to get a little bit more accent. And then finally, I used uh, aqua or ocean breezes, that one says, to finish off the spike at the end. And you can see those three colors come through nicely. And then very finally, I took some black and I dry brushed and filled in this end area here to make the look like the claw comes into an actual place. Now, throughout this whole thing, same process. Green, green, turquoise. And that's how I did all the claws. You'll see that every single one, green, green, turquoise. Now, the body here is similar in the sense of I used the greens to do these holes and then the turquoise, but then I took the very light green, got it really ready to dry brush, and I just did an area around it. Because what it does is it makes it look like those are glowing. It's a neat effect and it's easy to do beyond you know actually making them glow and up top you can see once again three colors outside edge was done in the darker green then the middle was done in the lighter green then a little bit of turquoise in the center and you can see the depth of color that it gives it and then i brushed the area around it to make it once again look like it has a luminous glow and to finish up here, I took a little bit of black, very little. You want to be so careful with the black on the dry brush on this. And I dry brushed the areas that would kind of sit into shadow here and there. And it just, and I did a tiny bit across here just to pick up some more of that detail, just to make it look that little bit better. Now, it's going to take our head off here. In here, you can see all the tentacles are now in place. And what I did is I painted them all just the green and then using the turquoise, I dotted it with that color. Why did I do dots? I don't know. It looks cool and it looks really neat on the silicone as well. Then all I did is I used that uh, draft stop silicone to get this all pretty much glued into place so it doesn't go anywhere. Once you've got all this done, you're finished. And just want to be careful of these tentacles. Oh, sorry. You want to be careful of these tentacles. They're strong, but that foam is not the strongest in the world. It's a good thing that it's really isolated where it is there. Now, once we get to that point, oh, the the roof goes back onto Mr. Iggy the bug here, or the nether blade. And we are pretty much onto the road of completion. You go through, and as you can see, you're going to be doing all the claws all the way through. That tail spot was just a styrofoam spike that I carved, drilled a hole in the end and just stuck it into place. As and you can see that that's how everything now is a matter of painting. And I'll be very honest with you, this took a long time to paint, almost three days of waiting for paint to dry, working on the next spot. This is a big project. You do not have to do as an involved paint job as I have on this one. I did this, this level of painting because I wanted to it and I'm borderline insane. And, but the effect at the end is pretty impressive. So anyways, thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you all have enjoyed this crazy build and where it's gone. Heck, we started in this and we're already at Christmas here, good gosh. Now, the fact is, is uh, when we are all done here, you can use this however you want. Like I said, it's great for a prop on a wall for Halloween. It'll light brilliantly, and you'll see at the end, on the end reveal, how it all works out. But regardless, the whole prop is so much fun to build. Sometimes it's fun just to stretch your legs and say, let's do something crazy. And this definitely falls into that category. Regardless, uh, thanks for tuning in. I know I already said that once, but my mind went, wee. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please hit the like, hit the subscribe. I know I don't really like breaking these videos into three parts, but this is a big project and it, a single video just won't do it justice. It's just, there's too much stuff that you can learn building something like this. Anyways, it, subscribe. Uh, a special thanks to my patrons who Help me out with funding some of these absolute crazy contraptions that I'm consistently building now. And I will catch you all next time. Have a good one all.